Stick Park, San Francisco, just about ready to start the second half of play. The Saints leading 14 to nothing. Going back to that Dallas St. Louis game, the Cowboys winning in overtime 24 21. We understand that Raphael Seption with a 20 or 47 yard field goal in that game to win it. So Dallas stays on the heels of Washington now. They're just a game back as Washington losing to Philadelphia. There's Steve DeBerg. In the first half was 4 of 15 for 31 yards, one interception. He was sacked twice for losses totaling 21 yards. You know, he started the game by going into the pocket, and then as the game progressed, why he rolled out both to his right and left several times, but it didn't do much good. He still didn't get uh, much work done from a passing standpoint. Look at the stats and passing. If anybody would have told me the Saints only have 31 yards passing the first half, I would have thought they were crazy. But Manning only threw the ball three times. They have been passing so well, second in the NFC in that category. But you see the total yardage. It's been New Orleans, 108 to 44 yards. From the World Series, an update. The Yankees leading the Dodgers 3-2 to two in the bottom of the third inning. So we get ready to go. Jurek will be kicking off for the Saints. Dave Williams is the middle man for the 49ers. He's joined back there by Bob Farrell and also Paul Hofer. 14-0, the Saints. Tom Jurek out of northern Arizona. And he hits a squibber. Picked up short. And brought out to the 33-yard line. That is Frank Quillen, who's the backup center for the 49ers. And Don Schwartz comes up to make the stop, but we have a flag as we start the second half of play. There's your score. 3-2. The series tied at two games each. And the Yankees on top of that one. Well, that'd be three in a row if they'd hang on to that one. And here's a penalty, it looks like, against San Francisco on the opening kickoff of the second half. And it's a 10-yarder. Fred Cashin, let's check in with him. Number 68 of the receivers, illegal use of the hands during the run back. John Ayers, number 68, responsible for that penalty. So from the 22-yard line, Steve DeBerg going to try to get this offense rolling, gives off to the juice, and O.J. comes out across the 25 to the 28-yard line. The San Francisco, who has not been effective, passing the football, still trying to establish that running game. Derlin Moore making the stop. Simpson in that first half of play had 10 carries for 28 yards. He was the leading rusher of the 39 yards that San Francisco had on the ground in that first half. They like to run the farm horse, number 71, and also Ken McAfee, their fine young tight end, the number one draft choice from Notre Dame. Second and four. Here comes Drake Boykin, and Boykin out to the 31, 32-yard line. He's going to be short of the first down as we go to a third down. San Francisco has just had so many injuries. They've lost some key men in that front line. Gene Barrett, one of their fine offensive tackles, is out for the year. They've lost a wide receiver in Terry LeCount. They lost some help in the linebacking core. They've uh, really been chopped up, but that's been the same story for the Saints. Yes, and it's been the same story for almost everybody in the league. It's something that you have to live with and hope that you can survive and still win. Third down, a long yard to go. Give to O.J., and I don't know. Hank, I'll tell you, the wind has really picked up here. It's blowing from screen left to right, and it's picked up in velocity considerably. They did not get the first down as Jim Merlo made the stop. I still can't understand why they don't try to run from the I formation more with, uh, with uh, O.J. Simpson because he does that so well. Give credit to the New Orleans defense. Did a great job that last time. Alex Price, uh, number 75. This is Wes Chandler back. Mike Connell will be kicking for San Francisco. Out of Cincinnati, 10th round draft pick. He was last year 10th in the NCAA in kicking. Look out, Harry Clark almost blocked it. Dutton came very close, a high kick. And it's going to be dead inside the 35-yard line. So twice, the Saints have almost blocked a putt earlier. Motti, this time Felton. There's timeout. The Saints lead it 14 to nothing. 
Our little cats from Lincoln Mercury are tough on competition. Our Bobcat has beautiful new styling and more standard equipment than last year. Yet at 3840, Bobcat's actually priced a... Looky there, little fella. Begin with an itty-bitty can of Budweiser. Ah, yes, it's straight from the horse's mouth. But seriously, folks, we call it the Bud Half Pint. It's eight easy-tasting ounces of the king of beers. It's perfect when you want a lot of quality, a little at a time. When you say Bud Half Pint, you've said it all. Wrong, Eduardo. You've said it short. How come I'm always the straight man? <laughs> Next Saturday, CBS Sports Spectacular features USAC Racing from Brands Hatch, England, the world's strongest men competition, and more. You'll say, you saw it on CBS Sports. I kicked that time by Connell, almost got it blocked, got it high into the air, and you're looking at Bruce Threadgill. He's a rookie from Mississippi State. He has ice on the right ankle. Two tight ends now, Henry Childs and Larry Hardy are in. They're going to run left, see if they run left here. They're tilted this way. Nope. Manning gets off to Tony Galbraith. The Galbraith is gobbled up by Ed Gallagher. And he got maybe a yard on the play. That's a key breaker. You see that time Mike Strawn, number 33, was way ahead of the fullback, which indicated that he might run to the left. That time they ran the other way, which is a good, good uh, play for the defense because if we can see it from up here, the defense can read it accordingly and respond and react to what they see by the tips of the halfback. A good key breaker there. Second down. Nine yards to go. Manning gets off to Galbraith again. And he's to the 40-yard line. He'll be four yards short of the first down is Joe Harris, a former Washington Redskin who plays the Canadian Football League. Hey, they have a lot of Canadian Football League products on this team. Joe Harris is one of them. Robertson, who played with Miami, came from the Canadian Football League. Wander Mons, a former Nebraska All-American, is also on this team. He played for Ottawa, the CFL, last year. That's part of the scouting system. You have to be well aware of what's available in the Canadian League, and if they're good players, it doesn't make any difference where they come from. Just get them. Third down and four. Galbraith and Strawn, the running backs. Here comes Strawn, and Strawn has enough for the first down. He's across the 45. It's Joe Harris again making the tackle. I tell you, that time, that offensive line really fired out of there. Yeah, they got a good surge that time. Sturt, Hill, Lafari, Woods, and also um, uh, Meserol. They did a good job of knocking them off the line of scrimmage. So at the 45-yard line, here's an update on the World Series. New York now leading Los Angeles 4-2 to two after three innings. Well, they got them in Yankee Stadium, and they're going to put them away. Dodgers having a tough time back east. First down for the Saints. Galbraith again. Five yards. Galbraith for ten yards. He's got a first down. Penalty on the play. Flag is down against the 49ers, it looks like. Let's wait for the call. Offside against San Francisco. So they'll refuse that penalty. They've got the first down. And now the game plan of running is starting to implement itself a little bit. They're starting to move the ball. Yes, they're getting some good holes. People are doing a good job up front. Here you Off see Gabbard. John Hill, number 62, is doing a good job. Robert Woods, number 65, the left tackle, also doing a good job on the play. But they made it happen, and of course, Tony Gabbard did a good job of running. Boy, the Saints have had a manpower crisis, particularly in that offensive line. They've lost nine players to the injured reserve. Manning on a first down. Straight ahead to the 41-yard line is Strawn, and Dan Buns is in there to make the stop once again. You're going to hear a lot about Dan Buns in the years to come from Long Beach State. Ed Gallagher also in on the assist. Second down, and seven yards to go. You know, with I don't know whether people realize that J.T. Taylor was hurt early in the game, and his position is being occupied by Robert Woods, 65. Fred Sturt, 68, is playing left guard. Hill, of course, is the center. Lafari, the right guard. And uh, Mark Meserol is playing right tackle, number 70. They did activate Kevin Hunt, a former Houston order for today's game, but we haven't seen him. On a second and seven, Strong. Strong to the 40. And he's going to make it to about the 38-yard line. Buns again. Chuck Crisp line up there. Well, I tell you, Buns, number... 57 
is really a good football player and a terrifically outstanding middle linebacker. You know, you look at San Francisco, they really had an excellent draft because you've got McAfee, you've got this young man, Buns, you've got Downing, Hughes, they're all playing. Joe Thomas feels that's the strength of your team is building through the draft. But it's, it's very difficult if you have to play with all those youngsters to also have a youngster at quarterback, you really suffer with that kind of a situation. Third down at four. Albert, uh, oh, he is met by Ed Bradley. Bradley is there instantly. Bradley played on that Super Bowl championship team with Pittsburgh before going to Seattle and coming here. He was hurt earlier, but he wasn't hurt on that play. Well, he got good penetration and got, was in a good tackling position and really got a good shot at Galbraith right at the line of scrimmage. Minnesota leading Los Angeles. The Rams trying to remain unbeaten. We only have right now one team unbeaten after today, and Washington lost their first today. Pittsburgh remained unbeaten, and now the Rams are in a little bit of trouble. There's Larry Jones. Tom Blanchard to kick. Big rush. He hits a line drive. Jones going to let it go into the end zone, and it just made it. Just made it. Rich Motti was down there trying to keep it in play along with Don Schwartz, and Motti almost pulled it off. Well, he gives you great effort, doesn't he? So at the 20-yard line, a football in possession of San Francisco. Dad, when are we going to get to Grandma's? Dad, are we going to get to Grandma's? Darn, I forgot to put in press stones. Take out the old man, put in the two. To protect against freeze-ups and corrosion, take out old, weak antifreeze and put in America's most trusted antifreeze, Prestone 2. Take out the old, put in the two, put in the Prestone, Prestone 2. And when you flush your cooling system, use Prestone Super Flush. We'd like you to meet State Farm car insurance agent Mike Little, State Farm homeowner's agent, State Farm life agent, and State Farm health agent Mike Little. When it comes to family insurance, your State Farm agent is one agent who does the work of four. And that makes things a lot easier for you. Just one agent to tell your needs to. Just one agent to call when you need help. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 14 nothing our score, 8.28 to go, third quarter. Saints. Having that halftime lead on a two-yard run by Mike Strawn and then a 15-yard touchdown pass from Archie Manning to Ike Harris. Steve DeVos, the other quarterback. Simpson, fourth in the running back. The motion comes Solomon. And you just saw O.J. Simpson get unloaded upon. I'll tell you, Simpson played with a team in Buffalo that didn't have a lot of success, but he did have a good offensive line. And he's finding out you got to have some people up front. Alex Price, number 75, got the penetration again. He's, he's doing a great job uh, at the left tackle position. There he is. Haven't heard a lot about him, you know it, but he just stays in there and does his job. Leading the team in tackles up that forward wall. And Walt Downing, number 62, is really having a tough job with Alex. Here's DeBerg on a second down to Freddie Solomon. Solomon. Across the 25 to the 27-yard line. Joe Fettersfield over there to make the top, stop on the play. And it's third down and still three yards to go. Freddie Solomon, former outstanding quarterback in college at Tampa. They play action left to Boykin, throw back a quick screen to Solomon. He follows his blockers well. Farnhurst, number 71, was pulling on the play, goes inside. They ran that play to the other side early in the game. There was a penalty on the play, however. They still made about the same kind of yardage on both plays. Third down. Let's make it two yards to go. The bird got to OJ. Got the corner there and gets across the 30, and he's got a first down. Jim Merlo was over there. OJ knew where he had to go to get that first down. Yes, and there again is a great illustration of the intelligence of OJ Simpson, plus the running with his eyes. He knew where he had to go. Merlo had a shot at him. He gave him a straight arm, had the ball in the right arm, which provided him with the opportunity to do that, and he made the necessary yardage for the first down. So to the 31-yard line. Simpson, very busy today. 14 carries, but he's only gotten 36 yards. Been tough sledding. And I'm just amazed that they haven't run him from the I formation very much because that's his favorite spot, and he runs very well from that formation. 
From the 31, DeBerg on first down. Who's that to? Trying to get it to Simpson, I guess, but it almost went to the white shirts. Yes, it was a de delayed pattern to O.J. Simpson. Fetterspiel and Pat Hughes were right there and almost made the interception. So the care and feeding of a young quarterback is indoctrination in the National Football League. He's the guy that replaced Jim Plunkett and thus far, five of 17 for 39 yards and an interception. I tell you, when he gets through with this game, he knows he's been somewhere. He's been sacked twice from the blind side. The bird back to throw on second and 10. Look out. Groom, Deloitte's groom, the ball is loose. And who's got it? San Francisco's lost it. It's New Orleans football as Grooms came flying through, and that's the third sack of the game for the Saints. And all three of them have been blind side shots, really un just unloading on this young guy. And that time, that time Grooms licked Barnhorst, which doesn't happen very often, but he got good penetration. And they had a safety blitz. Ray Brown, number 27, was blitzing from the outside. He created some assignment uh, problems and uh, provided a Lois Grooms to get through their clean big play for the New Orleans Saints. Well, the Saints with three sacks today, and boy, DeBerg has really been pounded. Strawn and Calvert, the running back. The line of scrimmage to 17. Off to Tony Galbraith. Galbraith fights his way inside the 15 to the 13-yard line. Throw to bring up second down, and still seven yards to go. Is Ed Gallagher making the tackle? Well, the Saints are starting to put their pass rush together. Well, you got to give credit to them because San Francisco has permit permitted only four sacks prior to today. And Dick Nolan's flex defense that he's been kind of feeding to the team slowly but surely having his best day. Yeah, they're playing very well, and they're getting good penetration and controlling the line of scrimmage very well. Two tight ends, Childs, Hardy, are in the game. Stride up the middle, inside the 10 to the 5, first and goal. That was a good play, a good call by Archie Manning. From that formation, they've been running wide to the right. Uh, they, were, they, were, they were tilted a little bit that way, but that time they ran a trap inside and... Uh, did a good job with it. Fred Sturt, number 68, was a pulling guard. Ed Bradley, 54, made the tackle along with Anthony Leonard, number 42. First it, and goal to five. But that was a good play, a good changeup on the part of Archie Manning. And still, Manning has only thrown the ball three times. They're on the ground and moving it now. The only thing that matters is whether you win or lose a football game. It doesn't make any difference how many times you throw a run. And that's what they're doing here today. Here's Strahd trying to take it in. He scored earlier on a play like this. And this time he can't make it in. That's been a big play for them this year on the goal line. Yes, they put the wing back, another tight end on the right side, and get blocking lever leverage on the linebacker. And uh, they pull a guard. And there's a lot of people coming around the outside. Chuck Chris that time, number 24, made the tackle. So it's a second and goal at the three-yard line. We go inside five minutes remaining in the third quarter. The Saints with a 14 to nothing lead and trying to get some breathing room. Strawn now, 14 carries, 34 yards, and one touchdown. Everybody's in tight. Manning to Strawn. Strawn, not going to do it. That's the same play as before. Exactly right, Dan Butts, 57. But that time they, they tipped the formation by the tilt of the backfield, and evidently the uh, San Francisco 49ers read it perfectly, but they responded and reacted extremely well to the formation and to the play, and now as a result, it's third down and about four. They lost a yard. You're right. It's at the four-yard line. Chuck Muncy now comes in. Mike Strawn will go out. You think Manny might throw on a situation like this? Uh, yes, I, would, I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see him throw a play-action pass. Let's see what formation they're in. They're going to run a sweep, I think. Maybe to the... They're going to run a sweep to Muncy. Let's see what they do. Muncy and Gab with the running yeah. back. Here's Muncy. And that was Eddie Lewis who came up, number 22, and fouled that play up. So they're going to have to settle for the field goal. Yes, that was a great defensive effort by the 49ers, and uh, the Saints missed a scoring opportunity to get seven points on the board in that situation. But they played very, very well and read it terrifically well. 
Here you see Muncie going outside. This is what they like to do in this situation. But they got great penetration, and Lewis really came up and made a big play. This will be a 23-yard field goal attempt by Jurek. Holding will be Tom Blanchard. 3-16, the clock ticking away. Jurek's clock. It'll go into the end zone and out to bring it out to the 20-yard line. That's the second field goal we've had blocked today. And that keeps San Francisco in the football oh, game. Oh, that really gives them a lot of uh, enthusiasm, I'm sure. Archie Reese, uh, number 78, was in on the block. But he kicked another low shot. Kicks it very low. And comes across the kick. So Jurek suffers his second block field goal attempt of the day. It's still the Saints by 14. Give me an Anheuser-Busch Natural Light. Just say natural. You see, you doesn't have to call it Anheuser-Busch Natural Light, and you doesn't have to call it Anheuser Natural, and you doesn't have to call it Bush Natural. Just say natural. Johnson's right. Oh, you can call me Ray, or you can call me Jay, or you can For call a me great Johnson. tasting light beer, just say natural. But you doesn't have to call me Johnson. Two naturals, please. Please don't ask him his name. Name? You can call me Ray, or you can call me... We started farming in 1942 with one son and one Ford. Our family grew, and so did our faith in Ford trucks. Our boys have that faith, too. Right, boys? Right, Dad. 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 You said it, Pop. That makes 11 boys and 25 Ford trucks. <laughs> Smart boys, just like their daddy. You know they pay after me, honey. Tough Ford Trucks, America's best-selling truck line. Smart folks and tough Fords, they go together. CBS Sports kicks off next Sunday with the NFL Today pregame show, followed by a regional slate of games. Monday morning, you'll say... You saw it on CBS Sports. Goodbye. And all of a sudden... San Francisco starting to put it together. Joe Campbell making the stop. Well, I think the stop they made with their defense kind of ignited everybody. They're playing with a lot more enthusiasm and a lot more emotion. And watch this play. They just cut off. They cut off the inside. Have a beautiful hole, Craig Boykin, number 33. They ran right at Joe Campbell. And Joe Campbell finally comes downfield along with Maurice Spencer. And both of them make the play. Craig Boykin is playing because Wilbur Jackson got hurt in the preseason. He was a seventh round draft pick a year ago for the Saints. Here's DeBerg on the play action. First down toss. Complete to Ken McAfee, the big tight end. Just short of the 40 yard line. Joe Fettersfield made a fine open field tackle. You don't bring McAfee down to that, putting something behind no, him. No, I tell you, and Joe Strong, he gets a good angle on McAfee. It was a play action pass. So he delays and then slips out into the flat area. Farnhorse, number 71, makes a nice block on Lois Grooms, but he catch, makes a nice catch, and Joe Fetterspiel comes over at the right angle and bulldogs, bulldogs him right down to the line of scrimmage. We have Larry Jones now in at a wide receiver with Elmo Boyd. That's three straight completions, I believe, for DeBerg now. Second down and six. Little delay to Boykin. Boykin hit by Alex Price. And his forward progress will be to the 37-yard line. He's a couple of yards short. And that will be the end of the third quarter with a score here at Candlestick Park. The New Orleans Saints 14, the San Francisco 49ers nothing. We now pause for a word from your local station. They say McClintock lost his woman, and that makes him lose his temper. John Wayne. Oh, pardon me. McClintock at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. This is CBS. I tell you, Hank, the Yankees are doing a number on the Dodgers in Yankee Stadium. That's only the bottom of the fourth inning. They're leading seven to two. They're trying to win their third straight in Yankee Stadium. Uh, they intimidate people in Yankee Stadium. It's very obvious by the way they're playing the way they played the last two games, and evidently the way they're playing today. We start the fourth quarter in a third and two, and O.J. Simpson's not going to get the first down. So you go to a fourth down. Now, do you go for it here? You have still 15 minutes left in the game. You have good field position. You're down by two touchdowns. Yeah, I think at this stage of the game and this position on the field, 
Uh, I think they're probably, I'll be surprised if they don't go for it. And they're going for it as Elmo Boyd comes in. Larry Jones checks out. So the 49ers, who are down 14 to nothing, have a gamble now as we just start this fourth quarter. Boyd comes to the bottom of the screen along with Freddie Solomon. Fourth down, they lost some yardage. It's fourth and three. The bird back to throw. Got some blocking. Complete. Complete to Freddie Solomon at the 26. I'm going to tell you something. He delivered that ball beautifully. He rolled out to the left. They did a good job of blocking Joe Campbell. They double teamed him with the back and also the left tackle. He rolls out to his left and really rifles the ball right inside. Solomon comes back for the ball slightly. It's lowly thrown, but he makes a beautiful catch and keeps the drive alive. You see flashes of some real promise in this DeBerg. Yes, he does. First down, he's completed four in a row. Solomon and Boyd, the wide receiver. So on fourth down, they get it. Off it comes a Greg Boykin. And Boykin to the 22. It's Price again on the tackle for the New Orleans Saints. So San Francisco, who blocked a field goal, taking some impetus from that, now moving the football on a fourth down, got it. They score on this drive, they're very much in it. You know, I'm surprised they haven't run a play action pass, I don't think, so far in the game, especially on an early down. They've run the ball so much, you would think that the first the play action pass would be there because they've run so many times in this situation. There's the stats on DeBerg, but remember now, he's completed four in a row. He's hot. He's going to try again. Look out. There's a guy there, Solomon. There's a play action pass. And Steve DeBerg hitting Freddie Solomon with a touchdown catch. There's a play action pass on Maurice Spencer, number 29. He faked to his left, and they had man on man on the strong side. He just went down and out to the flag, beat Maurice Spencer, number 29. Here it is. They fake to Boykin. He goes back into the pocket. Price is trying to provide pressure. But I tell you something, he got rid of the ball beautifully. He had to wait for it, made the catch. They kick the extra point now. It's a 14-7 game. Point after attempt coming up. This is Ray Wershing, who has figured prominently in the last two games against New Orleans. Wershing's kick is on the way. It's a 14-7 game. So two block field goal, a fourth down gamble, a fine passing effort by DeBerg, and the 49ers are back in this game. They trail 14-7, still 12.55 left. Dawn Launch, Sea of Japan. See a recruiter or call toll free. It's not just a job, it's an adventure. Introducing the Kmart 672, a powerful new car battery that's completely maintenance free. Hook the 672 to this electric winch and it can pull this 44 ton diesel locomotive. The Kmart 672, packed with power to deliver surefire starts. If it can pull this 44 ton locomotive, you better believe it can start your car. Check it out at most Kmart automotive departments across the USA, where quality auto parts are Kmart priced. So Ray Wershing will be kicking off for the 49ers who are on the board. They trail by seven. Wes Chandler is back deep, joined by Rich Motti as DeBerg has hit five passes in a row for the 49ers. Clarence Chapman, number 24 last year, ran one back, 92 yards and a kickoff return. Kicked the knuckleball that time. He does Motti. it every time. This is Motti. And Motti, boy, what a determined young guy he is. He crossed the 30. You know, Hank, he's kicked it that way all. Well, wait a minute. That was the other guy, Jurek, that was kicking off like that. Yeah. We haven't had a kick deep all year. No, all we day haven't. Long. They're kicking the ball right, the, right about the middle of the ball, and that's what makes it take off the tee in that direction in that way. They're not getting any elevation at all. They're kicking it right in the middle and kicking knucklers. And maybe that's what they're trying to do. Mike Valdassen was the guy that made the stop on that kickoff. And now Archie Manning's team and a little bit of a problem area. Muncy's in the game now left halfback. See if they run to the right. Let's see if Manning will start throwing the ball a little more now. He gives to Galbraith and he's got a first down. Look at that move. 
He's to the midfield strike. Boy, he has a couple of moves. Tony Galbraith with a first down run across the 50 to the 49 yard line. You know, they're changing the keys well. That time Muncie was deeper, was deeper on the alignment than Galbraith, which means normally that they're going to run to the opposite direction. And Muncie made a fine block that time on the linebacker, which provided Tony Galbraith with the opportunity to make this fine run. A big play for the New Orleans Saints on first and 10. 18 yard pickup to the 49. Childs and Hardy, two tight ends are in. 12-22 left in the game, 14-7. The Saints with the lead. One thing that you have to do against Hardman, is you have to run at him to keep him from rushing the passer. He doesn't like to be run at, and they're doing a good job of running right at him. And, of course, Bradley, number 54, the same way. Tinker Owens, he's the guy flanked out at the top of the screen. Adding play action. He's got a man open, but he underthrew it. And it's got Dan Bonds had it. Hank Larry Hardy, the tight end, was wide open, and evidently the ball slipped out of Archie's hand. Yes, he did. Yep, that's exactly what happened. He had him wide open. It looked like he, here, here it is again, a play-action pass. And Hardy is wide open. Muncie coming across. You think that was tipped, maybe? Well, I don't know. It might have been. It might have been because Reese, number 78, really got a lot of elevation, jumped up there high, and he might have might have got a, a, just a piece of the ball. Because Larry Hardy didn't have anybody for 10 yards around him down there. And Munz had the interception. Munz had the interception and then dropped it. Look at that score. Miami. What a slugfest they're having with San Diego. Galbraith and Muncie, the running back. Second down, 10. Here comes Muncie. And Muncie's to the 45-yard line. He just moved that pile ahead. You know, in that game between Miami and San Diego, Lydell Mitchell has scored three touchdowns for the Chargers. Well, he's a great all-purpose back and an excellent receiver. Ed Gallagher, number 75, made the tackle on that last play. Third down, six yards to go from the 45. And this game, intensity-wise, is picking up. There's Gallagher. Gallagher, a fourth-round pick of the Jets. He was acquired for a draft choice last year. Quick pitch, Munson. Munson trying to get the first down. He didn't make it. He is short of the first down, and so it's a fourth down coming up. And they're going to punt it away as Blanchard will come in. Chuck Crist was the guy that went over and made the play defensively for the 49ers. You know, the intensity level of this game has changed tremendously. Both teams look like they were sleepwalking early in the, in the game. Uh, since they, the 49ers held the Saints on that drive, why the tempo of the game has picked up tremendously, especially on the part of the San Francisco 49ers. Here's Blanchard kicking. Larry Jones is back deep. Beautiful kick. He's trying to hit the corner, and he can't do it. Eric Felton was down there again. So they'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. He was kicking with a wind to his back, and there is a wind right now. So with 11.04 left, the 49ers still in the ballgame. 